Okay. All right, that brings us up to the public forum. In the interest of meeting efficiency, public comments should be kept in the board of education side of the guideline and not be too early in the total. My name is uh, Jacob Marcatel. I am a lifelong resident of Clyde Savannah. I grew up in this town, went to the school, walked these halls, been in these offices, and I'm currently a pastor here in this town. And I prepared a little statement for you guys this morning, this evening. Hail to thee, dear Clyde Savannah, eagles soaring high. Through these hollowed halls, our children have been reading filth. If we aspire, if we truly aspire to be a student-centered community that promotes diversity to meet today's goals and tomorrow's opportunities, then we should reel back at our young minds reading things from the books stocked in the library here at the school. Like this book, which was checked out by a student over spring break, so they had plenty of time to read from the book People Kill People by Ellen Hopkins. On page 138 it says this, that part didn't hurt, and in fact, you were surprised that your wiener responded positively. Still, you knew it was wrong, so wrong, and you tried to get away. Oh no, not yet, he said. The hand holding you gripped tighter while the other unzipped your pants and yanked them off in one swift, well-practiced motion. You struggled, but couldn't come near to matching his physical strength. He unbuttoned his own fly, freeing his sorry erection to worm its way between your butt cheeks. He slapped a hand over your mouth. This might hurt a little if it's really your first time. Let's see if it is, he said. If there was one small saving grace, it was that he possessed a pencil dick. Still, when he drove it inside you, the pain was exquisite and you screamed into his filthy palm. A CS student read that over spring break. Or this book, which was taken home by a CS student on February 28th, titled It Ends With Us by the author Colleen Hoover. And the Clyde Savannah student read these words on page 173. He grips my hip with one hand while shoving my panties aside with the other. Then he pushes forward until he's all the way inside of me. His hand slides down my stomach and settles between my legs. I can no longer keep up with his rhythm. I can barely even stay on my knees. He's somehow holding me, holding me up with one hand and destroying me in the best possible way with his other hand. If that wasn't enough, this school district also offers this book by George M. Johnson titled All Boys Aren't Blue, where a student can read on page 266, I put some lube on and got him up on his knees, and I began to slide into him from behind. I tried not to force it because I imagined that it would be painful. I didn't want this moment to be painful, so I eased in, slowly, until I heard him moan. As we moved, I could tell he was excited, and I was too. I finally came and let out a loud moan. I pulled out of him and kissed him while he masturbated. Then he also came. These are just three books from dozens that I found in the Clyde Savannah Public School Library that contain this and worse. Filth I would not even want my mother to read. Disgusting, debaucherous wickedness promulgated to our students. For those of you on the board who were unaware that these books existed, which I'm hoping many of you were and I'm thinking that many of you were unaware that these existed. I must, out of my deep love and concern for not only the children, but my deep love and concern for you guys as well, let you know that New York State Penal Law 235.21 says that a person is guilty of disseminating indecent material to minors, which is a class E felony, when they provide to a child any book, pamphlet, magazine, printed matter, however reproduced, or sound recording, which contains any manner of explicit and detailed verbal descriptions of narrative accounts of sexual excitement, sexual conduct, or sadomasochistic abuse, in which 
taken as a whole is harmful to minors. If I pulled out of him and kissed him while he masturbated does not count as sexual excitement or sexual conduct, then I must be immensely ignorant. In closing, I would like to remind you all, the school board members and the public as well, school employees, of three individual things. The first is that the eyes of the New York State government are pointed at your direction. The one who enforces Penal Law 235.21. They're watching you. The second, the eyes of the parents of this wonderful community are watching. They may not all come to the board meetings and stand up and talk. They may not even send their children to this school because they don't want them reading this kind of wickedness. But the eyes of the parents of this town are on you. And finally, the unclosing eyes of God, who knows no rest and holds all power within his hands. His eyes are ever upon you who willingly promulgate pornography to children. These books are in your libraries. Next month I'll be back with more books, and the month after with more. If you don't care, then perhaps we should have a kid come up here and read. I don't need to repeat it. You know what it says. If you're okay with students reading this, then I urge you to step off the board or do something about this because there are many people in our communities that would support you in your fight to get this filth out of our schools. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat>